beauties, welcome back. We're on to season two, episode 11. That was really impressive. Of uh, Sister Wives. This one is called Sister Wives in City of Sin. And I think that we're just like living, looking at the day in the life. But this one is a season finale. And usually the season finale of a show is like kind of a dramatized finale. It's kind of like, oh my God, what's happening? And then like the season's over. So I'm expecting a little bit of a twist here. Not really a twist, but like a, oh my God, the life is so crazy here. Not as much of the Q&A, just because I'm not going to be sharing people's questions themselves, but I'm going to be incorporating a few questions that I've been asked here and there. So it's not really a Q&A, because I'm not going to be like, oh, Denise asked me this. It's going to be more like just discussing it, basically, which I think is a pretty good idea. Not going to lie, I'm very clever for the season finale, which we're watching right now. And none of these episodes have disappointed me so far, so I feel like this one's going to be actually fairly entertaining. I guess we'll find out. Since we became public about our faith, we've we've had a lot of tension in the family. So see, Aurora and I are getting really along really well right now. We just left Utah. It's our first day at the vacation rental home, and we have a lot of unpacking to do. We're seriously like a machine when it comes to packing. It's all kind of water off the duck's back now. I feel the sunshine on me. It's January, it's my birthday, and it's 70 degrees here. I don't think I ever saw snow once in Las Vegas. We got a whole new world we've got to figure out. We've got to get our kids into school. We only have 30 days in the vacation rental. Would you say it counts as homelessness that we only were able to live there for 30 homes and we technically, technically didn't have an official actual place to go to? We've got a lot to do still, but today it just feels like a peaceful day. We protected our children a lot, the investigation, with the threat it was. They did a good job. So they didn't understand what we were going to gain by being here. Cody's daydreaming out the window. It's the first time in months that I saw him just sitting there. That's so sweet. He's relaxed. I do feel at home here. It's the angels singing. I knew my, my body was feeling it because I slept good that night. And the next day I had an appetite. I lost 15 pounds before we left. I probably would have gained 15 pounds. We've got the little kids who are in a vacation home. I was so excited to see the new place. Oh, we did cute. There was a hot tub. It was so much fun. The teenagers are still bitter right now. Yeah, they left like an actual life. We're living in a vacation home out of suitcases. That's so valid. The investigation isn't gone. It's a mindset for us. And it could come back. But for us, it felt like a new beginning. By God. Mona Ricky, our real estate agent, is desperately trying to find homes so that we can be close together. Uh, working with the Browns has been a challenge. I wonder if this was good for her, like, business as a realtor. Who are like, oh, she's famous. I want to work with her. There's technically only four bedrooms, and so each mother is going to have her own room, but it's very cramped. There's one huge, gorgeous master bedroom. I don't want to be the one going, you hear, you hear, you hear. That's just not cool. Because then we go, she's your favorite. I would say either Janelle or my mom should have the big room, big bedroom. I got the big room because I threw a fit. Is that no, <laughs> you didn't kidding. throw a fit. It's huge. I think it just depends on who has the most kids. And also, she does have a baby. So it's up. What? <laughs> what? It's okay, they can spoon in the bed together. That's <laughs> what you get. <laughs> Not her spanking. Wow, Mary. She's so excited. Wow, Dad's that's birthday. Dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Daddy. Hey, happy birthday. I don't think I've seen Cody that happy or calm in a long, long time. Probably ever, actually, because their relationship's been covered by stress. They'll do this for other birthdays. I'm not yes. the only one that they really make a big That's deal true. of birthdays for. This family's never had a birthday forgotten. Actually, I think one year my birthday was forgotten. I remember going to my mom and she was like, girl boss, we can't afford to have a birthday for you. After Rob and I got married, I really wanted to have more children. Going public was really stressful. Yeah, you know, it's not great on a pregnant body. Stress. And then directly after going public is when the investigation was announced. It threatened our safety, so Robin yeah. just said no. Hey, she doesn't have to defend herself. We had waited for so long. I mean, we had been married for, was it 10 months? A long time. Yeah, how long have they been married by now? Not even a year? Now, can we try? Yeah, now's a good time. Boom. I think when couples are like, yeah, we've been trying every night to have kids. Like, gross. Keep that to yourself. That's nasty information. But, like, good for them. It's always fun to add babies to the family. I'm pretty sure they're talking about Solomon, which would make sense, actually, because 
we had him before we lived in the cul-de-sac houses. We only had 30 days in the vacation home, so priority number one was finding four homes. We all decided that Robin needed to be the first person to get a house. My kids have moved around a lot. We wanted to get them in a home and settle as, as quickly as possible. That was nice of them. We were really up against the wall because the school semester was starting in four days. We found the house on Friday. On Sunday, we signed papers. Tuesday, we enrolled the kids in school. Maybe we started school late. Hey, buddy, time to wake up. First day of school. I have to go to school half an hour away, and I have to get ready. Yeah, school, first day, not gonna lie, kind of intimidated by the factor, a little bit, little bit jittery. It's a big school. He's so adorable with her little backpack. They're so cute. They're going to school. I don't really care. I don't really want to make friends with people here. They're so cute. She ends up being student council president of the entire school. She's like, I didn't want to make friends. Okay, okay, Miss Popular. I really like the home that we found for me. I'm really hoping to settle and sort of nest and to build like a home environment. Mm -hmm. And then the kids came home from their first day of school. Hi, how was it? It's horrible. Oh, that place is huge. It's kind of funny. My first day of school was all right. I like the teachers. Oh, she liked it. She has a crush. And you're going to make friends. And Hi. Teachers a ton nice. of true friends, yeah. Don't be oh, sarcastic. Yeah, Will you stop? Not the smack. Also, I love Leon's side eye. They're like... Paying a mortgage on one big home is going to be a lot less expensive than paying rent on four little ones. Our resources are finite for sure. It's scary. It's really fortunate that the show came around. So this, we're able to like make some money off of that as well. We want to use our retirement to start a family business, but we really just don't have any idea what we're going to do right now. I still feel like it's going to work out for us. I appreciate Mary's positivity because, like, somebody's got to be positive. Money, I know it's going to take some money, but the whole world's full of other things that are more important. Right. I feel like money's still important, though, but I respect that view. Please, I'm so bored. You just want to drive around in a circle? Yeah. Sometimes driving is kind of fun, actually. I get it. Got a Utah learner's permit, but it's not valid in Vegas. Oh, are you sure this is a big decision practice driving and driving around the parking lot a little bit oh, just the parking lot okay good i thought they were gonna let leon go out and i was afraid that they were gonna get like pulled over that's amazing wow you do those loop de loops so we just sat in the car and we did donuts it's amazing i found the next house and it's funny i wasn't really looking i was thinking i would be sort of last i was kind of enjoying the vacation home i'm surprised we were able to find a house so quickly for all of them it just felt really comfortable to me, like it was home for me. And I felt really bad that I liked it so much. It was so much smaller than I remember. Gabe and I used to make little iMovie clips in there, and it was like the stupidest stuff ever, but we had so much fun with it. I'm the one who doesn't care about how the house looks, so I'm excited. And the bedrooms are wonderful. They're bigger than what I have. I think it's great that Janelle is so excited because most of the time she's like pretty neutral about things. The street is quiet. I don't know what the neighbors will think of us, but it really is a balance of their needs versus your needs, your wants versus their wants, and respecting each other's. There's a pool in Janelle's backyard as well. One time, truly, she fell into the pool while we're all just like hanging out and stuff. And I was in the pool and I saw it. It was freaking terrifying because I saw a baby fall into a pool. And then my mom dives in after her, picks her up like immediately, like a second after Truly was in, suddenly she was out and she was like totally waterlogged. And because of that, I am very much interested in teaching my baby how to swim because of that one moment. There's only two weeks until Mary and I have to move out of the vacation rental and there's nothing opening up. McKelty, oh just pull it up like that. Because then it looks weird there. It doesn't. It, it doesn't. It does. What? Her way of acting out has always been modesty. Oh no. Does she have boobs? I don't want to see anything too low, nor do I want to see anything too high. <gasps> oh my god, she has boobs and a midriff. That's ridiculous. How dare she? I, I think she thinks I don't that two see. feet is all it needs to be. Oh, oh my two feet. But it should be five <laughs> feet, okay? hate the double standard so much because the boys walk around naked all the time. I can never respect this attitude towards a child around her family. McKelty, go find a different shirt. I don't want to see that much of your body. 
I get mad at my parents sometimes, so I'll like wear whatever I want, even though I know they're gonna get mad about it. It's called bodily autonomy. There's definitely different attire worn by people in Vegas than Salt Lake. Because it's hot. Salt Lake is not as hot. Now that we're in Vegas, we are actually concerned about the influences on our children. You guys, they're slutty legs. Choices, basically. You can see her entire bare shoulders. Horrifying. I like the way I look, and I would like people to like the way I look, too. And she should. They don't realize that when they have certain things showing, that is like a huge message to boys out there. Teach boys not to be freaking perverts then. Maybe then it won't be a problem. If you don't teach boys that they're allowed to stare at women inappropriately. Horrifying. Horrifying by all of them. Let children be children. She just wants to have a body. I'm angry. It's okay. Whatever. Sure, because they're beautiful girls. God, I just lost so much respect for all of them. God damn it. I did notice. I don't think Janelle said anything about it. That. I'm not just going to settle. I want five bedrooms. I want to be close to the rest of the family. Well, there's certain things that I want. I like that my mom's being a little bit more picky about it. She's like respecting the fact that she wants specific things. Luckily, I found I like something that. that will work. <laughs> the same street as Robin's too, which was really nice. See, God loves us. God loves us. Ew, what? Sorry, that way. Shami was always so well behaved until one time she had like a screaming fit and then she just like collapsed over herself and passed out and you know babies are very flexible so her legs were completely straight and her body was in the same direction. We have a picture of it somewhere. I don't it's funny to look at her. We left Utah in such a hurry that we left most of our stuff there. It was very, very difficult, but we had to go back, get all our stuff, take it back to Las Vegas and get the pets. Back to a place with snow. To some people, Robin is coming in kind of being the home wrecker, and she's not. That's the word, home wrecker. I know you don't understand. Just relax, sweetie. Are you texting your girlfriend again? No. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't get it. Um, Leo, look at the blonde. So are you. That was so, that was clever actually. When you and I first met and we had that connection, I was really excited for the prospect of having this close bond with a sister wife and I saw that going away. I was struggling with some jealousies at the time. For a second I thought that was Mary and Robin kissing and I was like, whoa, whoa, not that close. So we have this police investigation basically shake our family. And some families would just break away, fall apart, but we didn't. We got stronger with each other. We all sort of- I just agree that they got stronger. I feel like they've been just- Went inward like this. Oh yeah. Anyway, I feel like they've all been slowly separating since the investigation. This is a kind of relationship that I've always wanted with a sister wife. It's yeah. just something deep and real and- I wonder if that's implying that she doesn't have the relationship with the other two. All right, see you at the first stop. <laughs> you help represent, sponsor me, you help. Oh, a fireplace? I didn't even notice that. We can love fireplaces. I like that house, we had a big backyard. My feet were very tough in that backyard too. Like I could walk around, out. I used to be able to walk around outside with no shoes on and like no pain and like in the backyard in the dirt and stuff and now I can't and um, I've become weak. It was about 10 days before our lease was up at the vacation house. Mm -hmm. I finally signed on the house that I was gonna rent. Mom was working. There was one big problem. It was more than a mile away from the others. Mm -hmm. That part sucked. It made it really difficult for Mary to be involved as well. I love this house. It's got a lot of space. We always had church there though, so we could like make sure that we were being connected as a family. This is where I had to really take a chill pill. Rent will cost as much as Christine's or Janelle's and housing a much bigger family. So I'm having to deal with this issue, trying to justify in my head the amount of money. And you're taking this personal? I would take it personal. Yeah, don't get mad at her. She's feeling like a burden. She tried for two weeks to find that special house that was smaller and cheaper. Yeah, she wasn't able to find one. But ultimately, she deserved to have the home that was important to her. Thank you, Janelle. You know, just the fact that I have less kids. Doesn't make me less. I don't deserve as many perks in the family. I don't think any of us feel that way at all. It's something I think that Mary feels a lack in her life. It's not her fault. 
You aren't worth your children and what you can provide out of your womb to a family. And I realized I was being a jerk. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of events at her house to make sure that she was being included. Can I just say I'm really looking forward to hopefully having Thanksgiving there. <laughs> so we got all my stuff. You know, I can start putting it all together. Boy, that was so freaking cute, me and Leon. I do remember that moment slightly. Yay! We all have the houses we want. And it took us only 30 days, actually. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that was so funny. I don't know who I think is better. I wouldn't say my mom's. I like the balcony, but I feel like it'd be between Mary's or Janelle's because of the pools. We are going to have a block party. Worst would be is if somebody decided to show up. Throw eggs at us. <laughs> political or overzealous religious opposition to our lifestyle. I don't think enough people know about polygamy and to the point where they would excessively hate it. I feel like we're a parade. I know. Where's a our parade of cupcakes? Edna's thrown the block party, and Edna's a very straightforward person. This is cute. They're making friends. When I first heard that they were moving into the neighborhood, what I had to say was less than gracious. And my daughter, she says, but mom, we shouldn't be judging them, just like they shouldn't be judging us for our lifestyle. Wow, Misty. Look at you being an unintentional ally. So this is your wife. Las Vegas was my first exposure to people of color, especially black people. So it was like a little bit of a culture shock to be there. One of our neighbors has a stepdaughter that I assumed that they were married. Usually that's what people say to a polygamous 14 year old wife. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. The so biggest. Embarrassing. Uh, that was so funny. Anyway, yeah, this was my first exposure to people to people of color because I'd only been around white people my entire life, and I never really noticed that until suddenly people had darker skin than mine, and I was like slightly shocked. And also, I thought that my uncle was black for a long time, so like not insanely, but yeah. And not to brag, but I never had the Mormon belief that like people of color were lesser, so I handled it pretty well. I was a non-racist little white kid. Not to brag. If you saying you love multiple women it's not love it's lust mm. when god gave us one woman when he created eve he didn't create her with for adam he created one woman technically there was lilith too if this really was about lust prostitute is so much cheaper than wives that was amazing it's las vegas they have a very different culture here and when i moved into this neighborhood i made myself not judge a single one of my neighbors I feel like they're talking about the fact that their neighbors are people of color, and that's why she's saying not judge. Because there's nothing to be judged about these people, except for the Mormon belief that people of color are lesser. And so part of me is like, just say, just say you have a little bit of racism in you, you know? I'm looking forward to the day when the kids start begging me to get them all into one home. Yeah, it's gonna happen, you know. I don't like driving from house to house every day. It's expensive, I guess. I think that it's better for the children to have their siblings close and then have me able to see them every day. Mm -hmm. That part sucks a lot. What time are you going to your party? 7.30. Wow. They already are invited to a party. Although I love these guys and like to see them, I like to have my alone time too. I don't like it. I mean, I already find myself in the evenings like, well, gosh, it's kind of quiet. Where's everybody else? Our handwriting is beautiful. Having four separate houses now, I like the focus time that you and I have with each other when you're there. Mary's enjoying being separate. More focus time, that's what I like. I'm listening to what they say and I'm very worried. Sorry. I love the me time. I, I like the routine that I'm developing with my kids. They're enjoying this. They like being separate. Songs of praise we sing to our, to our Savior, Savior King. Shout our sweetest songs of praise of life. I love that, actually. Honestly, it scares the heck out of me that you two are more comfortable in separate homes. I didn't even care about this. That was adorable. Get in here! How's it going, Squirrel? It's good. The caption says, how's it going, Squirrel? He says, sweetheart. I don't know. Funny. Now that we're in Vegas, we've got some pretty big news. <laughs> She's pregnant. So we took this pregnancy test, and all of a sudden he stops and he goes, we're pregnant. We're pregnant? And just tears. Oh my god, this is so cringe. We're expecting a baby in October. 
So we've been married a while. It's about time we had kids. Yeah, let's, let's do that. All right. They're so awkward. We've been keeping it a secret. Just the two of us. It's just a secret between the two of us right now. And I've been sort of... It's a fun secret to have. It's not really a relationship when they keep doing this. It's like it's just the two of them. And they're not including the rest of the parents, like, at all. I'm worried about Mary taking it hard. I don't know if it's just me that's got the issue with that. But it doesn't seem like they're all in a relationship. It just seems like it's Cody and Robin and then the rest of his, like, mistresses. She's always wanted to have more children. Her body won't let her have more. God, stop talking about the fact that Mary can't have kids. I'm sure it doesn't make her feel great that we always say this. My plan is to actually go over to her house. They're like, she's lacking as a woman. Reinforce the announcement with love and understanding. Our relationship has improved so much over the last year. A baby can be kind of a reminder of the intimacy between your your husband and his wife. This is the season finale drop off. Okay, private talk. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness! Wait, that was such a good season finale. They did that really well. Cause this is like, oh my god, how is Mary gonna react? I need to see the next season. That keeps us. That keeps us interested. I'm impressed with this. Usually the season finales have a um. Instead of just like an episode, what I've noticed is that there's an interview. And I think this is the first one I've noticed that doesn't have an interview. The last several ones have had interviews last as in like first season, season 17 and onwards. So that is a little bit shocking. Or not shocking, but that's new. It's new and it's fresh and it's refreshing. And I don't dislike it actually. I That was a really impressive finale actually. Because a lot of people are like, a lot of people are interested in babies, especially the kind of people that would watch this rise, they're probably like, yes, babies. Like, that's what makes it all interesting, you know? Like, we don't watch it because there's a relationship between five people. We watch it for the kids and the relationship between the five people and how they handle all, all of the kids together. So that was actually a really good finale. I'm not disappointed in it. I think they led up to it really well, too. Just all of us getting comfortable in our homes. I don't hate the fact that Mary and my mom like living on their own. I think that that is part of the pathway that led us to no longer really being this big happy family and let it led to our separation our eventual separation especially with the fact that all the kids are separate like when we moved into the cul-de-sac i do recall that i don't know if i specifically noticed it at the time but like looking back it did not feel like it felt when we lived in the lehigh house it felt more separate and less like we were siblings siblings because when we lived in the lehigh house it was definitely like we were siblings we could show up they were all our moms but when we lived in the cul-de-sac in las vegas it did start to look back it started to feel more like we were cousins and we were more like half siblings like these were all our moms they were just our dad's other wife kind of thing and so watching that is kind of sad for me a little bit to see like the decreasing of our love, our connection to each other. It's too bad that it happened so early too, because really the public deserves to see how like close we were as a family. And obviously not everything was perfect because we were normal. It's sad to see the the closeness and the proximity. It's only season three now. And like, I can already tell that it's decreasing so much. When we, when we were living in the separate houses, um, and people like the public started figuring it out. I think somebody doxed our house, which by the way, pretty sure is illegal. Don't do that. And this woman came to the house that my mom was staying at. And she was like, I'm a huge fan of the show. And I was the only person in the house at the time. And I wasn't like the brightest kid. I was actually really smart, but I didn't have street smarts. So I opened the door and she's like, are your parents home? And I'm like, no, like an idiot. Cause I didn't, exp I like, I had the trust of the community that I was raised in in utah and i wasn't used to the fact that people aren't always you know good and people will show up to your house and maybe kidnap your children so this woman came over she knocks on the door she's like are your parents home and i'm like no my parents aren't home it's just me and i shouldn't have said that nothing bad happened by the way and she's like i'm such a huge fan of the show and so i start panicking a tiny bit i'm like i don't know this lady and she's like can i hug you please and like i do and i feel so freaking awkward and i just don't do that um if you're a fan of somebody please don't show up at their house that's so scary especially for their children and like if i'd have said no who'd have known what she would have done i was just a little kid 
But that was like one of the scary things associated with going to the house. It was such a it was such a different exposure. Also, when we were going to school, when we first started school, I don't think that at least me and like maybe around my age group in the family, we didn't really we weren't in in school yet at that time. I think we were like a week maybe after the other kids the the semester started. So when we first got there, we talked to the principal a bit. Who, by the way, hated me. I'll explain that in a second. And we got to like look into the windows and see children working in the classrooms and figure out who we we're gonna have as our teachers. Also my teacher sucked. It, Aurora and Gabe got a really cool teacher that everybody in our entire grade was obsessed with. And mine was super lame and she would all, all like frequently have menstrual cramps in the middle of class. And she would like just keel over and go, oh, and start groaning. And during the class with such booty, sucked booty cheeks. And it was so awkward for all of us. Um, she's had a specific distaste for me and even though my mom like tried to explain to her many times that I preferred being called Gwendolyn, she like insisted on calling me Gwen, which isn't that big of a deal, but also maybe you should try to make your students comfortable. Also, the principal in that school didn't like me either. And my teacher who also didn't like me for no reason, went to the principal and she was like, oh yeah, Gwendolyn didn't do her homework. Like one time, by the way, and I'm pretty sure I did do my homework. I just had my mom help me with it because my hand was tired and her hand was it and her handwriting was better than mine and I was like mom how about I, I say the answers and you write the answers down which like technically isn't allowed but also I was in freaking elementary school what are you gonna are you gonna so the teacher comes up to me in the middle of lunch which the entire third grade is there and it's just a ginormous lunchroom and he's like so Gwendolyn Brown I heard you're not doing your homework you're a terrible student and so I'm like just sitting there like Sean like what sir I'm a child, also I did do my homework, so I complained to my mom, then she goes and like crap, talk the te crap talks the teacher to his face, next year he's gone, we have a new principal, she's cool, and she's actually a lot better than him, and all I can say is don't mess with rich white ladies, okay, so period, we have, we have some strength, also don't bully children, and teachers are in a position of power above children, and should be nice to children. That stuck with me for a long time. I even gave that lady fruit snacks, her favorite kind of fruit snacks. And sometimes she would like dance and giggle when I gave them to her and she still hated my guts. Cause I'm autistic, huh? She was mean and she didn't care about me or my education. And I'm very passionate about it and it bothers me to this day. You're welcome. Anyway, also about the school, we had a long commute, like, like they said, the uh, 30 minutes. We had to wake up like extra, extra early just to drive to school and to get ready for school and all that stuff. So that sucked, but it only lasted like a couple of weeks, I think. When we first did move to Las Vegas, there was like obviously a lot of fear around the investigation, which by the way about that, I think I probably definitely said this at one point, but I still think it's crazy who were like, it wasn't even that big of an issue. Like we still had the fear and the children were scared and it wasn't made up for the camera at all. And I've heard people say that, but I it definitely was not. And I'm pretty sure somebody said something about like, the investigation was over beforehand, but what if the parents didn't know one and two, 100% could have come back anytime. It could have been a different investigator. It could have been a different department. And whether there was danger or not, the trauma, the stress is still there and still completely valid. But like at the same time, I'm like, we were having such a hard time finding homes in Las Vegas. Like we were living in a rental home for like a month and then we had to get out, which I don't know if that counts as homelessness. I'll leave it up to the collective to decide. But my thought is like, if we were having such a hard time finding somewhere to live in Las Vegas, why don't we just go somewhere else? Like I don't, I love how I'm the one asking questions here and I could literally text my mom and be like, why did we choose Las Vegas if we couldn't find a place to live in Las Vegas? But that was a big, that's like a weird, that's like a question of mine, but I think it's weird. Like, why don't we just leave? Also speaking of Las Vegas, uh, when we were first exploring Las Vegas, just like as a family and walking up and down the streets, there were these people that were handing us cards, you know? I don't know if they still do this, but I did this when, I, when we first moved there. And it was like invites to go see some strip club, and it was like pictures of naked women with like stars and like glitter and stuff on their nipples, so it wasn't like super inappropriate. Anyway, we were walking around, and my dad was like, or some guy was like handing it, and my dad was like, stay away from my children. And then I look at the ground and you can't look anywhere in Las Vegas without seeing a pair of titties, which I wasn't about to complain about as a young closeted bisexual child. So I was looking at like everywhere basically. I was like, boobs, amazing, boobs, amazing. I look on the ground, 
more boobs. There are a bunch of cards of like naked women and their like boobs were out, their tits were out and they had like glitter, glittery like stickers on their nipples to cover the nipples. So I didn't even mean to be saying this stuff out loud, but I'm like looking at the ground and I'm like whispering to myself about all of the different things. But I'm, I'm literally like, oh, that one has stars. That one's blue, that one's pink. And then Aspen comes over, she taps me on the shoulder and like my face goes red like a tomato. And I turn around, I'm like, hi. And she's like, are you okay, sweetie? What are you looking at? And I was like, just the ground. And she was like, it's hard not to look places. And like, it's hard to look places and not see something. And I'm like, yeah, it's terrible. What a terrible thing to think and to look at. And I just look back at that. I'm like, how did I not know? How did none of them know? And somehow I was closeted even to myself. But I think that's beautiful. And that's part of life. Um, anyway, I thought I would share that. I feel like I experienced a lot of different things, a lot of different cultures in Las Vegas. And I think it was a really great thing that we did move to Las Vegas and that I was exposed to them, especially at such a young age, because if I wasn't like exposed to people of color at such a young age, I might not have turned out like as a not racist person. And I think it's great that, you know, I had that exposure. And when my parents were talking earlier about like, they weren't judging the neighbors, I still don't know what they were, they what they would have been able to judge the neighbors about. like. Were, would they have judged them on their people of colorness? We're on to season three now. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next season. I hope you enjoyed this finale. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts and some of my thoughts on the religion that I shared a bit. And yeah, that was my little kind of Q&A just because I've been discussing questions and like thoughts that you will have had that I'm not really including the screenshots. And I also just forgot to screenshot it basically. Um, so yeah, please stay tuned for season three. The next episode we're going to be watching is the announcement, the announcement. And I'm pretty sure that's just when Robin talks to Mary about the fact that Robin has a child now in her tummy, in her, in her womb. Um, so that's exciting stuff. I love babies. I'm excited to see Solomon for the first time. I'm not super excited to watch Robin give birth because the last time I saw a birth scene, it was McKelty's and it was horrifying. And I think watching birth is terrifying and I'm not ready to do it myself, but after all of that very much talking, thank you so much for watching. Once again, please like, please subscribe, please comment, let me know any of your thoughts, let me know any of like your opinions that I made about these things that I was just discussing, like the investigation, the new school, um, Mormonism in general, and just let me know your thoughts, you know? And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Mwah.